on track for 2025. That is the status of the new Smoky Stadium going in downtown Knoxville. Over the next three days, our Will Puckett is taking a look at the impact leaders hope the stadium has and how a similar state stadium in Durham, North Carolina is leading the way. Tonight you're sitting down with Doug Kirchhofer of Boyd Sports. What are you learning so far, Will? Well, it's an incredible opportunity for the Smokies to write a new chapter. That's what is being offered at the new Smoky Stadium in downtown Knoxville. As they near one year of initial construction left, they're hoping this stadium is a boom for Knoxville like it has been in other cities across the country. It gives you inspiration and gives you confidence that um, that this can, in fact, be more than just a baseball stadium. Doug Kirchhofer, the CEO of Boyd Sports, sits hopeful the vision sitting over his right shoulder brings a positive impact to the city of Knoxville and beyond. I think there are there are so many examples of where a minor league stadium has been a catalyst for growth and development um, and e expansion of business activity. Um, in in cities around the country. These are the plans for the new Knoxville Smoky Stadium under construction just east of James White Parkway from the old city. Yeah, I think it's just really excitement um, and an anticipation for uh, for a, for a new venue uh, for something new for fans to see and enjoy. This new stadium is a $114 million investment between Boyd Sports in the city of Knoxville and Knox County to bring baseball back to downtown for the first time in two and a half decades. Uh, it can be something that creates economic opportunity, uh, drives business growth and business development, creates employment opportunities, um, and just enhances the quality of life for residents of Knoxville and the Knoxville community. That is the vision of Knoxville native and Smokies owner Randy Boy. It's also part of the drive of putting the stadium where it's at serving as a bridge to bringing folks who live in East Knox into the downtown expansion to provide jobs, opportunity and fun to a base historically left out. I think there's a real focus on that, starting with the fact that there's an acknowledgement of the history of the site, uh, the fact that this was an important, uh, an important uh, part of the African-American community, uh, that it was disrupted and really destroyed through urban renewal. Driving this important inclusion, 65 million of taxpayer dollars, a critical piece in bringing this vision to life. We identify this as a, a transformational economic development opportunity, but it's it couldn't happen without a, it being a public private partnership uh, without without the the uh, the support and the guidance and the involvement of both the city and the county. Um, it, this a project like this just doesn't happen. It is a heavy investment from all involved, planning to bring everyone together into one stadium, combining baseball, community events, and more inside a building built for the city and East Tennessee. Home plate, right where that flag was. Now, right now, construction, like Ted said, is on track on time. As it stands, the stadium is set to open for business for the 2025 Smokies baseball season. And well, there's a city down I-40 that's proving a stadium like the Smokies are planning to build can bring significant growth. Tomorrow at 6 and Wednesday at 6, we're going to take you to Durham, North Carolina, where the Durham Bulls Athletic Park is nearing 30 years old. We're talking with folks who have a central hand in events at that stadium that goes beyond so much more than baseball and just how much the city has grown around it in the past three decades. All right. Well, Puckett, thanks.